Hello everyone, this is Lena at GradeLink again. Thanks for joining me in the financial section. This is video five in our webinar series. In the last video, we were working on the fees types page to set up all of our charges for the next school year. Uh, the second step you need to do on this fees types page is create the ability to for a parent to make a payment. So we're actually going to configure some payment capabilities on this page. So stick with me here. You'll see what I'm describing. I'm going to click the Add button in gray on the right side. At the bottom of the page, I'm going to type Tuition Payment. You need to make a payment fee type for each of the billing categories that you have configured. So since this is a tuition payment that I'm setting up, my billing category would be tuition. And the debit credit type is now going to be a payment. So uh, because this is a payment, it's very likely that parents will be paying different amounts for tuition. Because of that, you want to leave the amount box at zero. Leaving the amount at zero will give you the flexibility in the future to enter any amount in the ledger as a tuition payment from a parent. And creating a payment type for each billing category is going to help you for your accounting purposes to keep your categories straight so you can run reports and see uh, how much money you're bringing in in the form of a payment in the tuition category as opposed to how much money you received from parents school-wide for registration. So I recommend after you've set up all of the charges and placed them into the appropriate billing categories, then you want to create your payments for each of your billing categories. And you literally want to type the word payment in this title to keep it clear to you. What makes it work is that you're choosing payment as the debit credit type dropdown. And the amount, again, needs to stay at zero if this debit credit type is a payment because that'll give you the flexibility you'll need to have in the future to accommodate for different tuition payment amounts. The session, again, you want to choose the session that you're working to set up. So I'm going to choose 2015-2016. And then I'm going to click Save. And we see the item that we just added up here at the top half of the page. I'm going to click the Add button again. And I'm going to add in a registration payment. This is going to be in my other fees billing category. And again, this is a payment. The amount will be zero because parents might pay, in some cases, they might pay $500 for registration, but if they registered early, they might pay $400 for registration. So the parents might be paying different amounts at different times. So I'm just going to leave this at zero. And then when they actually make the payment for their child specifically, then I'll be able to designate the amount that they paid. This goes in the 2015-2016 session, and I just click Save. Okay, so this is part of your setup. Again, this is not specific to a student. This is just the preliminary framework that you need to get in place in order to start applying charges and payments into students' accounts. So what I've done, again, is created a payment title for each of my billing categories. So we have just uh, a couple more videos on the on the fee types page. So stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create the capability to input scholarships for students.